ICB Medical Foam Box Casting for Custom Made Orthotics. We're positioning the foot using the ICB ALM method. The key reference points for the ALM are outlined in the photo. Start with the talonavicular reference points, lateral and medial. Bisect the talonavicular points. Mark the head of the second metatarsal joint and join with a dotted line. Locate the tibial crest on the lower one third of the tibia and draw a dotted line to the talonavicular bisection point. Using the ICB ALM, podiatrist Abby Nargerine demonstrates supinated foot, neutral or ideal, and also the pronated position of the foot using the, the line as the reference. To commence the casting procedure, position the patients so they are supported on the left hand side when taking a right foot cast. Rest the patient's foot gently on the foam. Do not allow them to depress their foot into the foam. Position the patient's knee underneath your arm and control the lower one third of the tibia with your hand. Position the foot into subtalar joint neutral by using both the ICB ALM and the talonavicular reference points. During the casting procedure, continue to check the ideal position, subtalar joint neutral position, maintaining the, the line in the correct position and checking talonavicular reference points. Commence the procedure by rocking forward and back in an anterior posterior motion to break the foam and then depress the toes checking and maintaining the, that the ALM is in the correct position. Depress the first metatarsal joint completely to the base of the foam. Remove the foot vertically so that it does not create a fishtail in the back of the foam. Next you'll need to check the cast to ensure that the arch is correct and the inversion angle is correct. So the arch should have a C shape. The medial aspect of the heel should show an inversion angle. The heel 5th metatarsal and 1st metatarsal areas should be completely depressed to the base of the foam. If you do want to check your casting, you need to take the foam out of the box and then check to see whether you can see the actual impression of the foot coming through to the base of the foam. You can see here that the foot is clearly visible. Here are some keys to a good foam box cast. Check the feet are symmetrical and not excessively inverted or everted. When you cast the foot and remove the foot, remember to remove it vertically, not on an angle. A quick check of the heel shape will show you whether it's a good cast or a bad cast for the orthotic laboratory to be able to work with. The ICB ALM can also be used in a semi-weight bearing casting procedure. When the patient is seated, place the foot gently on the foam Position the knee underneath your arm and your left hand should be positioned so that it's controlling 
either inversion or eversion so that you're able to maintain the neutral or ideal position. Use a rocking motion to completely depress the foot to the base of the foam. Ensure that the toes, first metatarsal joint, heel and forefoot are depressed completely. Once this is completed, you can now start to cast the opposite foot by removing the foot and then transferring to the other side.